Russia has done several things at the same time. The foreign ministry has been very vocal uh, criticizing um, some of the steps taken by the Ukrainian parliament and uh, this is denouncing the people who now uh, control political power in, in Ukraine as not a legitimate government. But um, at the same time, the Russian government has now today uh, announced that it is considering or does not exclude uh, restricting imports from Ukraine, and that could hurt the Ukrainian economy quite a lot because they've done that before. Of course, uh, what everyone uh, really wants to know is where uh, President Vladimir Putin is headed with this. Uh, interestingly, he has uh, been very quiet over the last few days. And the assumption is that it will probably take quite a long time for him to take concrete steps because on the one hand, uh, Putin will be considering his options and he will be watching Russian uh, public opinion as well. The majority of the Russian public perceives Ukraine not exactly as a um, as a foreign country, but more very, very close. And f uh, for that reason, uh, Putin's handling of this is maybe more sensitive in, in terms of domestic public opinion than um, any other foreign policy question would be. And then, of course, the third problem is that for the Russian government, it's very important to keep their influence in the region. Uh, for example, Russia has uh, its Black Sea fleet um, stationed on uh, Ukrainian territory. Um, so Mr. Putin has, has to um, calculate very carefully as to not to lose influence there. So I, I think he uh, considers this as a rather long-term, step-by-step process um, also of negotiation with the other powers involved in this. There are people who want the gov Russian government to pledge that uh, in the event of um, major violence in Crimea or, or uh, Russian interests coming uh, under pressure more in Ukraine, um, that um, Russia sh should intervene. But at the moment, the Russian government's uh, position is, as far as I can uh, see, not to do anything like that, particularly because there is not very high confidence that uh, the Russian military is uh, in a position to actually have a uh, positive outcome of a conflict like that. Catherine Hiller, Financial Times, Moscow.